This forecast is powered by Johnson's Appliances and Betty, located in Ocean City and Wildwood, or online at johnsonsappliances.net. Well, it's 5 o'clock on your Monday morning. Thank you guys so much for waking up early with me. I got to tell you, I am in a very good mood right now because yesterday actually turned out to be a nice day. We had the sunny skies return after but a little over an inch of rain fell throughout South Jersey, and then the Eagles won in a spectacular fashion. How could that not make you happy? Unless you're a Giants fan, of course, then I apologize. I am so sorry to hear that. Anyway, our weather right now, it's dark out there. It's going to be dark for the next couple hours until the sun comes up, and then we're going to see a lot of it. Thanks to high pressure down to our southwest, clear skies from the Ohio Valley into the mid-Atlantic, and that, of course, covers all of us here in South Jersey as well. We're going to have this northerly flow, and that's going to bring back the comfortable air. Yesterday was actually kind of muggy with dew points around 70. We get rid of that nonsense, and we're looking at a really nice day out there. Let's get you out the door and in the car. Temperatures in the middle 50s with a west-northwest wind at a few miles an hour and a green light across the board on your travel. No problems there. Temperature right now in Atlantic City at 48, 53 in Philadelphia, 47 up in Scranton, 40 in Erie. And if I am able to foreshadow a little bit and see the blues here, I think that's what we're going to be dealing with for morning temperatures come the end of the week as the coldest air of the season is going to start to filter down into our region. 53 right now in Hamilton and Woodland Township, 54 on the beach and boardwalk in Atlantic City, and 56 for our friends down in Cape May. We have those clouds to our north that was associated with that system that brought us the rain yesterday. We're really looking at an abundance of sunny skies. Perhaps mid-afternoon, midday, we'll start to watch some clouds move in from the ocean. But aside from that, I don't see any kind of issues. No rain today, but tomorrow we're going to become unsettled again. We're going to throw in a chance of some showers out there. It doesn't look like a prolonged or very organized event, but all week long, especially by Thursday and Friday, we are going to be very unsettled and we're going to throw in those shower chances. 68 today in Blackwood and Vineland and Hamilton. Atlantic City will come in at 65, Stone Harbor at 64. North Northeast winds eventually at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. For your Tuesday, the cloudy skies are back. You'll have some sun, but it will be limited. North Northeast winds at a few miles an hour, 66 degrees, and a couple passing showers are possible. All right, listen up, parents and grandparents. I'm having my annual costume contest. The deadline, <laughs> say I'm funny, is 8 a.m. on Thursday, kids 12 and under, and I'll be picking three winners, and it's going to be fun. We're going to have some goodie bags for the winners and gift cards, and they'll be featured on my 7 o'clock broadcast on Thursday night. 7 8 forecast, unfortunately, speaking of Halloween, looks like we're a little bit wet. Storm system's going to eye up our region. Looks like it could rain on Wednesday night, and then perhaps, if we're lucky, I'm going to cross my fingers, we've got to wait for some more model data to become available. The rain could hold off until after trick-or-treating on Thursday night. Rain into early Friday, clearing out and cooling down for the weekend. Have yourselves a great day.